Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Tourmaline Tarot. We're going to do your November read. See what's going on for Sagittarius for the month of November. If it's yours, you'll know. If it's also not yours, you'll know. So, let's see. Before I start talking, we've got Five of Swords reversed. Okay, this is nice. Alright. <laughs> it's like we're getting there. Um, then we have the King of Wands reversed. Moon reversed. A lot of reverses, and I only do reversals and longer readings, but I feel like there's something you're not giving to. If someone or something is trying to pull you in, you don't feel the need to um, prove yourself in any way. It's like, you know, the Five of Swords reversed is like conflict being like, meh, nah. King of Wands, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Moon reversed. There's something that... Um, I feel like is being revealed about yourself or situations will clarify, but it's like you don't, you're not ruffled by it. You don't feel the need to react or push back or like I said, prove yourself or get in there tiger, you know, like you're not the fixer, you're not the cooler. <laughs> so what is this moon about? Six of swords. Bye. <laughs> It's, you're just not being bothered. You know, you're just staying hydrated and blessed. It's just like that kind of vibe. King of Wands reversed. What are we not doing? Oh, Queen of Swords with the Three of Cups reversed. Um, If there's any friendships or relationships that, you know, yeah, they were a good time. Yeah, it was fun. But, like, they're not your 3 a.m. calls. They're not your ride or dies. They're not, you know, they were just there for a good time, not a long time. You're you're cool. You're just, let it ride, you know. Because um, <clears throat> what is this Five of Swords about reversed? Oh, yeah. The devil, we're not doing that. Mm -mm. No, there's like such a chill that you're moving into. Um, and I'm not saying every friend that you meet, every relationship has to be your, yes, I have the bail money. You can still, you know, but we're getting out of the devil energy, right? So not everyone has to be that. But like you'd prefer quality over quantity. So what is the six of swords? What is Sag moving into? Oh, the Knight of Swords. I feel like it's not that you don't need anyone, but you know what you need to do and you're doing it. And I think with the swords, um, sometimes the Knight of Swords can look very impulsive. But for me, swords is about thought and thinking. And like once you get the spark, once you get the idea, the motivation, you're doing it. So there's something that I feel like you clear house. And there's a motivation that comes with that because now you have room to do what you want to do. Put things into motion. Because what is this Queen of Swords and Three of Cups reversed about? Eight of Wands reversed. You could just like, and it's not like um, anything mean. You know how stuff just pitters out? It just kind of goes away and no one really shows up to fix it. You know, or like hold on to it. There's just such a release letting go. And this doesn't have to be specifically just about friendships. This could be about, um, I hate to say hobbies, but, you know, things that you cared about aren't as, you know, life or death anymore. Like you, you might be finding new interests. You might be things that, stuff that motivates you more than what you've been working on before. So with this Knight of Swords... We have justice reversed. I don't think you find the balance immediately with it. And I also don't think stuff is coming back that you let go of. Like if there's any kind of looking over your shoulder, like, well, are they going to email me or are they going to text me? Email me. Listen to me. Like, um, <laughs> kids don't do that these days. Um, you know, there, there is like a, well, it ain't coming back. <laughs> like, like you the boomerang isn't coming back you threw it but there's not like you know it, it's done in some way because what is this justice about reversed you have the queen of cups 
And then we have the Nine of Swords reversed, Seven of Cups reversed, and the King of Swords then. Yeah, so there is, like, you've gotten it out of your head. You've gotten over any kind of confusion or um, sometimes the Seven of Cups can be about any kind of illusions you have. And I think the Justice reversed, it's like, it is what it is. And the King of Swords is moving ahead in that. Remember, you had the Knight of Swords back here. There might be a thought process of letting go of stuff before you can hit the King of Swords. So you can be like, you know, oh, are they going to text again? Or, or, you know, I don't know. Do the kids still Snapchat? I don't know. But there, there is like a, a realization stuff is done. Whether it's friendships, work, relationships, etc. And it's funny because here's the Two of Swords. There's still, if you're letting something still be a possibility, you need to make it not a possibility because it's distracting you from your own stuff. If you're leaving space for something to be a possibility, and come on, I mean, Sag is like, you're like, everything's an option. <laughs> you know, like, you can see the potential and stuff. You can see, like, maybe this is it. Maybe that is it. You know, maybe, like, we'll be best friends. Like, do we just become best friends? You have to kind of let that go. Because what is the Two of Swords about? And it's like you have to make the decision. You have to put your foot down. Yeah, okay. The Lovers, Ten of Wands, Temperance Reversed. If you're not making a decision, if you are waiting for something to circle back and you're carrying that, it's, it's not authentic to yourself. So yeah, you do have to let something kind of close out. You do have to let the door shut. I'm not saying you're locking it, but at the same time, you can't let it be a distraction from what actually has to happen from here on out. So moving on to the Oracle. We're reading it like a relationship, but it can be you in a situation, not just you in a person. So the clouds in the tower. How are we moving forward? <laughs> How are we doing it? And this is not tarot tower. This is like Hierophanty tower. Finding the right thing for moving forward. This side you have the moon, which is, you know, it's not tarot moon. It's about getting recognition, getting the kudos. And over there, have the metal. Oh, okay. So it's a dude. It doesn't have... There's only a guy and a girl in this deck, so it doesn't have to be the gender. That was the surprise and the handshake that wanted to go but didn't commit. Okay, and I'm not saying anything until all the cards are out because I feel like I see it coming out. <clears throat> Here we go. If you're waiting for somebody to recognize all the good stuff that you have, everything you bring to the table... I feel like there's a, and it doesn't have to be an actual person. Um, you know, like I said, you only get a guy and a girl. So it just shows opposing energies here. You have the metal and the piggy over here. There's a level of complacency coming from the other side, whether this is your work. Ambivalence is the word I'm hearing. You know, um, I'm good. Stay or go. It's cool. Uh, got what I need. I'm fine. I ate, I ate yesterday. Like, there is that kind of vibe to it. Because down here, the fear is, you know, um, or the concern, the challenge. It doesn't have to be about fear. You have the house and the bouquet. Someone is trying to, like, offer stability, offer, like, look at all this good, look at the good stuff I have here. Like, why don't you want the good stuff? You know? And this could be stuff you're offering, or this could be the potential. Remember we talked about potential and possibilities? The concern is like, look at, this could be good. Everything could be good. But over here, it, it, it's like, if you're trying to get the recognition, for whatever reason, it feels like it's going falling on deaf ears. Then you have the, the woman with the shepherd. Like I said, there's this like, well, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see... And it's kind of pushing you into kind of like an inaction thing. So like I said, there's a processing between being this Knight of Swords to the King of Swords of the decision making, of the, you know, calling time, putting a pin in it and going and doing what you need to do. Because I feel like there's leveling up and stuff that you're not doing for yourself. 
while you're kind of looking over your shoulder to be like, is it coming back? Are we doing this? Are we not doing Because right now I don't think it's happening. And I don't mean this in like a, you know, negative way or whatever, but it's like the way forward isn't clear because you're still looking over your shoulder. It's like eyes on the road, Sag. Because what about this moon and this dude? Oop. I feel like stuff is going to come out that kind of cements it for you because you have the garden, which is social situations and stuff, and the book is knowledge and things. It's going to kind of start, the if it's a puzzle or whatever it is, the story is going to kind of come out together where it's like realization. And it doesn't have to be like heartbreak or blah, blah, blah. Like there's no like three of swords, you know, like sadness, blah, blah, blah. It's more like concrete realizations. It's pragmatism. It's like factual. It's just very like, you know, just the facts, ma'am or sir or person. Because here we have the pig with the metal sword. Yeah. You don't want me to say it, do you? Okay, guys, come on. I forget what sign it did for that. No, they don't want to say. Because there's the, there's the cat. It's like superficial. And, you know, that could be the thing that is the suck factor. Because it's like... You know what you're bringing to the table, but no one's acknowledging what you're bringing to the table because they have their own thing going. And it's like, do you realize what what I got over here? And you're not going to recognize? Okay, well, screw you too. There's like, <laughs> there is that kind of vibe. So what about this woman and shepherd thing? No, you, it's like you're, you're, your own brass ring you are your own thing and protect that because <laughs> you know what's important like you're figuring out what is important and this new cycle it's you know like all about sag i'm not saying you're ignoring like the rest of your life but like you need to kind of figure out what you want to be doing because if you were doing it for anyone else or putting anyone else before you like let's not yes yeah, stork change let's change you might need to change how you're doing stuff, who you're getting involved with romantically, friendship-wise, etc. And it's going to be kind of a process. It's the ship. It's a longing, and ships take longer. It's not like you have a car or a train or a horse. You have the ship. It can take a little longer than what you want. But there is kind of sorting out your desires, how you feel about stuff, what you want. Let these other people sleep on it. Because, like, they're their own thing. And if they slept on the awesome, well, you know, when it comes time around for that Wheel of Fortune to flip, guess who is not getting a ride on that Ferris wheel? Um, here we go. I want to see, what is this like? Why do they think there's, oh, even like horns are honking on that. <laughs> All right. No, no, they're just, I'm not saying they're oblivious. They're just not aware and they're okay with not being aware. For whatever reason. And now I just want to get nosy. Like, Sag, tell me what's going on. And then there's the cat and mouse. So it's fine surface, surface level. Okay, remember I said when the Wheel of Fortune turns, this is my Wheel of Fortune card. Remember how I said they don't get to ride? Yeah. I'm sorry. It takes this many tickets and you got to be this tall and you have neither. Whatever this is. So I feel like you need to do your thing. Not try and get kudos from other people. It's not an easy process. But when you're prepared, when this stuff flips and these things turn and you've kind of gathered this knowledge of, of whether it's something new you're doing, whether it's jobs, relationships, whatever it is, and this tries to be like, hey, Sag, you'll be like, aw, you have no tickets and you're not tall enough. <laughs> Because you know it's important. Like, you know your value. You know your worth. And now, even these cards are like, say something. So, okay. Sagittarius. With the oracle here, what do we need to do? Grace. Yeah. Sail on through it. Give me one more on the grace. It is. I'm, like, excited. Awakening. Hi. Yeah. You are, you know, like I said, 
graceful, rising above it, awakening. There's an awareness, stuff is coming together in pieces, and like I said, don't look over your shoulder and don't expect other people to do what you would do, because I think you're operating on two different scripts, you know? Um, so Sagittarius, that's what I have for November, and I'll talk to you later.